Welcome back to Wid Acres where we are learning and growing plant by plant. Today we will be doing the second harvest of our cold frame that we harvested the first round about a week ago. I could have harvested a few days ago but to tell you the truth I didn't actually like the mix of greens I put in there. So I have been harvesting radishes constantly out of there getting plenty of very good and mild radishes. So. I'm going to go in there today and see if we have any carrots ready, that'd be nice. But I'll probably get some more radishes out of there and do a full greens harvest of the greens. Let's get in it. But first, good boy. The cold frame is looking very lush and full right now. You can see the, crut, the front row here, which is crests if you didn't follow along with the first video. If you haven't seen the first video, go ahead and check it out right now up above. But we'll get into this and I'll show you what we got growing. The second row here is red romaine lettuce. Behind that we have a very full lush row of arugula. To the left here we have some Bloomsdale long standing spinach. With one patch of that. And then here we have some rainbow swiss chard. You can see the rainbow colors in there. It's really starting to take off now. It was a little slow in the beginning. Back center we have some Mabuna mustard, which is clearly doing great. The Georgia collards are growing pretty fierce now. If you sneak in and look behind there, you can see we have radishes already mounding up our shoulders and looking good. Get in there and see if we have any kicking my bowl. Get in here and see if we have any carrots going on. It does not look like any carrots are getting any size to them. I need to actually get these radishes pruned down maybe to get more sun back to those carrots. I thinned them out so I think they're fine with their spacing. Just not getting a lot of growth out of them. I'm going to start with the front row and work my way back so I don't have to reach over much. And I'm going to get this crest out of here and I'll probably get a full bull this time again. However, since I did not like the mix, so last time I harvested about a week ago, I put everything in one bowl and chopped it all up with my salad chopper. It didn't taste too good. It was very green, very dark green, if that's a flavor you uh, can recognize. But it was way too dark green. So I'm going to harvest these ones and keep them, I'm gonna keep them separated. Gotta keep them separated. But I'm gonna taste test all of them one by one and try and get a green mix that I actually like because I don't want to keep harvesting this. I don't really feel like harvesting it if I don't feel like eating it. So I want to get an idea of what kind of salad mix I actually like and want to eat. Puppy doesn't eat salad, huh? You're a carnivore. You eat only meat. Huh, pup? I think I'm going to do a time lapse of harvesting this all of this because it's pretty simple you just cut off the tops take all the mature leaves and leave the young leaves it's pretty simple i'm going to go ahead and get all this harvested and bring you in for the root vegetables because that's the exciting part Should have brought two bowls out because I said I'd keep them separated, but that is definitely about a full bowl of red romaine as well. I'm trying to keep them sectioned off in the bowl so I can easily pick them out later for the taste test. Okay, next up is arugula. 
which you can see it is doing quite well. A little bit of bug damage, so I'm actually kind of surprised to see. I didn't put anything on these plants at all because they're in the cold frame. They're a little, a little more protected, but I should be doing a BT spray on these soon. I might do the BT spray tonight whenever I do my brassicas down in the garden. Arugula is pungent. Is it supposed to be pungent? I can smell arugula when I cut it. Oh no. Wonder how it tastes. Mm. Ew. Yeah, that did that doesn't have good flavor. No. Yeah, that's disgusting. Mm. So you can see why this got a little tall and away from me here because it wasn't actually good to eat. So if you're looking to grow a garden or trying to figure out what you want to put in your garden, figure out what you like to eat and grow that. Because that's what's going to keep you coming into your garden and enjoying taking care of everything and especially the harvest so I don't know this arugula tastes pretty gross maybe it's the way it was grown I don't know maybe I need to harvest it smaller it could be something but either way arugula is not getting a place in my salad mix as of now and we'll try and keep growing it we'll see if it grows or tastes better in a different kind of uh, environment but all that arugula probably going to the compost because it's gross okay so next up I'm gonna do some Bloomsdale spinach leaves which is easy because it's just one plant so I'm just going to take some big leaves off of this. And that'll be it for the spinach. Just a very little bit of spinach. Definitely want spinach in my mix, so that's going to get... I'm going to be planting more of that. Now for the chard. Got a rainbow of chard here, some red, yellow, and white. Step on the board. Take a little bit of chard. We'll taste test that later. So actually, this red one actually looks pretty good, so I'm gonna try it now. Alright, much better flavor than the arugula. Yeah, that was actually a little sweet. Definitely got some succulent flavor to that. Happy with the chard. That'll go in the mix. Now I need to cut the mustard. Getting a good bit of mustard here. Might as well try it, huh? Not bad. Not bad. Definitely more green flavor. A bit of a bitterness taste, but definitely not as revolting as the arugula. I can put some of that mustard in the mix. This last green that I'm harvesting here is Georgia collards. 
get some of the bigger outer leaves. I'm not giving it a haircut like some of the other ones get. I am taking outer bigger leaves. Nice succulent Georgia collards. That one's iffy. That one's definitely iffy. Maybe it's better if uh, they're wilted down, cooked in a stir fry or something. That one's iffy. Okay, next up is my row here of radishes now, I already pulled some radishes during the past few days and weeks so I'll show you those I've been getting pretty decent handfuls of those a couple different times I've been just picking them whenever we need them for salads or eating them fresh I like them in an egg salad so okay I'm cleaning up some of these edges here. Keep the bed nice and neat. If you leave a lot of drop material in your bed and around your plants, you'll have pests like slugs coming in to break down the leftover material. Okay, so I'm gonna get in here and just uh, find the bigger radishes and twist them out. It's a pretty good radish. I'm going to twist the ones out that are big and can give some space to the other ones. And then I'll leave the small ones go until they get bigger. Ooh, that one got too much water. Went ahead and split on me. Yeah, definitely get that one out of there. This one is just sitting on top of the soil. That's a pretty radish there. Can't beat the color on that one. A couple more. Very pretty. Love harvesting root vegetables. They're just so so enjoyable. Pop out of the ground. good one that one just start that was just starting to split on that one here's a nice big one. Oh yeah that's a big one we've got some clover coming up in my bed no doubt go ahead and get that out while I'm here looking at it I haven't even been watering these actually I just, whenever it's about to rain, I go ahead and throw the lid open as it is now and just let the rain go in and water it. But I had to pull this one out. It was between two other ones, so I had to pull it out to let those grow. And I'll pull this last little one out because it's also bunched up together with another. Okay, that is pretty decent snacking harvest of radishes. I'll take that. And I definitely got this uh, bed cleaned up because it was getting really full. So I'm going to go ahead and just get in between these rows, pick out any of the loose stuff and any weeds that I see or come across. Bring in close, check out the carrots, even though there really is nothing to check out. Carrots are still pretty small. We've got these radishes harvested and pulled back a little bit, so maybe they can get more sun. 
I'm doing some weeding around the carrots. Got some of this tall fescue coming in. Some other grass. Make sure the carrots have space. But other than that, that is a full harvest out of the cold frame. This is harvest number two. There's a heavy bull. So that's got to be a good pound and a half or so of food coming out of this cold frame. That's about what I got harvested from the first harvest. And like I said, I've been getting radishes out of here about daily, pulling radishes out for snacks. So you can see what it looks like just after harvest. Pretty uh, cut down and bare. The only greens that are full leafed in there are the radishes. And you can eat the radish greens. I don't harvest them because I just let them keep growing like growing to get the radish bigger. But I will go ahead and use these greens if they taste anything half decent. I'll go ahead and use the greens from the radishes that I do harvest. Okay, so I have this thought and I want to see how much weight I'm actually harvesting out of my garden and cold frame really so I believe in storage we have some or we have a food scale from our old pet supply store that we had so I'm gonna go see if I can find that right now and then I'll be able to set it up and weigh every time I have a harvest okay Here it is. We have a scale that I need to hook back up. We need to get these chains back on it, but I got a scale. Hopefully this thing works. Come on, pup. Okay, I got my scale here hung up in my patio and it is reading about zero i'm just gonna put this whole bowl maybe not might have to empty it might have to empty it hold on So we have another pound here, and that that adds up to about two and a half pounds coming out of that cold frame. Hey buddy, what you waiting for? And a golf ball. Bring. Got all my drops there because we had a frost last night, so I had to cover everything up. You can see if I pan around the patio here, we're pretty loaded up with plants. Got plenty of plants to be going out into the landscape. Got extra tomatoes, got petunias, Gerber daisies, coleus. I got a lot of plants ready to go out. Pansy, Shasta Daisy, African Daisy, Sportulaca. Come over here, we can see some more Scotch Broom, Petunias, Willow Trees, and a bunch of more tomatoes. And I got some outside too. So we got a lot to be planting this week. Okay, that's about all I have for today. Wanted to show the cold frame harvest. And we got a good two and a half pounds out of there, which I think is pretty good. This is my first year with the cold frame, so I'm not real sure why this camera is so blurry.
Thanks for watching. We got the cold frame harvested for the second time already this year before anything is ready in the garden. So I believe this is a success. Yeah, yeah, I'll take this as a success this year, even though I don't like the mix of salad I put in there. But either way, everything grew and grew healthy. So I will be switching this out. I don't know. We'll see how it reacts during the summer. But I will be switching this out for a summer crop and then a fall crop. I'll probably have more root crop in here for the winter and some more salad greens once I figure out what green mix I want in my salad. But either way, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. If you'd like to see more videos like this and what I'm growing here on the homestead, it's not really a homestead yet, but I'm working to make this a homestead to grow everything I can and learn about each plant so whenever I do start growing for self-sufficiency food then I'll be able to know what I like to grow and how to grow it. So if you would like to learn along with me and Echo, then subscribe down below. You can see us on the next one. Thanks for watching.